Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are enjoying this series. If so, consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video. And today we are going to talk about NPM caching. Right? So what happens is whenever NPM makes a call to an NPM registry, it brings a package, right? But there are some executed executable or binaries that are very big in size and not always required to bring from the registry, right? So that binary is NPM stored in a place in a cache, right? To speed up the process, right? So what happens is NPM has its own caching mechanism that handles caching very well. Uh, so it brings the package there and it, it keeps the packet there and whenever required it pulls us from the local rather than going online and making a network request it reads the network request as well and faster the process a lot right so with that let's look into npm cache so if you can go to this website npm cache and learn about it more right but generally it is stored in either root folder of you know your mac or linux or you know this particular place of your windows so if i type it you'll it will go to a folder that is you know app data that is caching place right if i do a dir i'll see that there are a lot of place that is present here right a lot of files that are present here right so let's say I, I go to this log file right for example if i go to this log file and do a dir there, there is nothing in there but let's try out go to cache file cd underscore ca cache i do a dir you'll see there are some files present out here. There are some files present out here. Let's come and look into uh, other 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 uh, directories. Let's go to npx. The npx that we talked about a few videos back. You, you'll see there is nothing here as well, but there are like empty directories that is fine. So let's go to logs. And if I do, you know, um, DIR, it gives me some log files that were, you know, created whenever the NPM failed or it's general logging mechanism, right? So you see, there were some files that were present that makes, you know, caching calls to NPM so that it doesn't make a request and, you know, brings the uh, package again and again to make a less API call. This is required. But sometimes what happens your cache also gets corrupted and you want to clean the cache manually you want to add something to the cache there are a lot of things that are present out here you can also add a package uh, in your cache so that it doesn't make an api call again and again and bring the bring the uh, package from the npm registry you can do so and tell your npm to bring you know your package from this cache only right you can do so that as, as well there are uh, there, there are feature which uh, you know allows you to clean the cache right so cache is fully verified for integrity both and insertion extraction cache corruption will highly either trigger an error or a single to pack out that must be reflected will do it automatically generally npm caching mechanism is very robust and it handles caching very well you don't need to uh, you know clean the cache it will do itself and uh, do lot of things itself you don't need to do anything but generally it is not recommended to do clean cache right but sometimes package corrupts generally npm handles it but if you want to do so you can go ahead and do npm run clean cache force right you can do so it's it's not a boundary like you know you can't do so there are various other packages so if you do clean cache what it will do it will delete all the data in the cache folder and this will typically unnecessary as npm cache is self healing and resistant to the data corruption I guess like I have never faced this to clean, clean the cache. It was automatically, uh, you know, self healing and resistant as it's still. But if there is scenario, there is an option to do it and you can do so as well, right? And this cleaning the cache is known as, you know, purging process. So that's what uh, NPM purge means. So that's it for this video. I hope this entire series has given you some knowledge around NPM. How does it work? What is packet that just lock? dot json what is packet dot json how npx work and how caching is based in you know npm with that thanks for watching this video if you are liking like this series you have learned something consider hitting the subscribe button in mix 
and motivates me to make more videos and tutorials with that i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye